we did a full review of the latest release from Ajax, which is their Ajax NVR, and we received a nice comment from you viewers, which is, what's the difference between having an NVR without PoE switch, so like the Ajax NVR, and the more traditional way, so an NVR, with a PoE switch integrated in it. So today we'll see what's the main difference, if there is a version that is better than the other, and how does it work. All right, let's get to it. Let's start with the network video recorder that has PoE output in it. So this NVR, as you can see, has eight outputs. So that means you can connect eight cameras to it directly. So a network video recorder acts as the art of your system. It records and store all the information from your cameras directly in the hard drive inside of the NVR. And not only that, but using the PoE technology, so power over ethernet, it's able to give electrical power to the camera and also receive their data, so their video stream, through one Cat5 cable. Now, why is that a great solution? It's pretty simple. It's first cost effective. Everything is inside of your NVR as soon as you buy it. So you don't need to get an NVR and get a separate PoE switch. You get this, you get your cameras, and let's say you're doing a small installation in your home. Well, it's plug and play. So Connect your cameras with Cat5 cable, it's ready to run, no questions asked. That's why it makes a great solution. Now we're gonna see the comparative, so using an NVR with PoE switch. As I mentioned before, in the review, we showed that the Ajax NVR doesn't have a PoE switch integrated inside of it. That means that when you get it, you have to buy an additional PoE switch to connect your cameras. Here we have a 16 channel, here we have an 8 channel, so you can scale up your system. That's what's great about getting an external PoE switch. Whether you want to install 16, 8, 32 cameras, you can always choose the PoE switch that will fit with your system, which makes it really flexible because an external PoE switch, when it, what it differs from an NVR with an integrated PoE switch, is that you can use multiple products in, uh, with it. So it's not simply for video surveillance. Your NVR does this video surveillance work, your PoE does the power work. So it powers your video intercom, it powers your access control, it powers your camera. Again, it's practical for uh, larger sites because again, there is multiple floor, you may be talking outside, so installing a PoE switch inside and one outside can power up your whole system. So when we're talking about flexibility when working with the Ajax NVR, for example, that means that you can power up your video surveillance that will be recorded inside the NVR, but also your other solution that will be inside the building. Not only that, but it creates redundancy between your NVR and your switch, meaning that when you have all your products powered up by a switch, if for some reason your NVR crashes, well, your cameras and other systems are still running because they're powered by a separate device. When we're looking here, everything is in the same place. That means that if that crashes, well, everything crashes. And so by going to this solution, you're, you have two different technologies in a sense. You have the heart of the systems, which is separate from the old system. So this one focuses on storing and recording your information. Again, we're using the Ajax NVR as an example, but that goes for any NVR that doesn't have an integrated PoE switch in it. And when we're talking about PoE switch, well, it gives you the flexibility to choose a switch with maybe PoE+, PoE++, so you can power up your PTZ cameras, video intercoms again, that requires more additional power to be powered up. Because when we're talking about maybe this NVR right here, these outputs are maybe 12 volts only that powers up. So it's perfect for a smaller camera that when you're talking about a bigger systems, you need special PoE power to be able to power up the additional cameras. In short, when we're talking about a network video recorder with an integrated PoE switch, it's great for a small installation. It, it, again, everything comes out of the box. It's plug and play, it's cost effective. So if you have a small system, we highly recommend this and it makes it really accessible to get 
all your um, recorded data from it and store it yourself. Now, if we're talking an NVR like this one and a PoE switch like this one, this is great for larger scale installation simply because as we mentioned, well, you can move your things around. It, you can have a switch over here, you can have a switch over there and they can connect multiple systems. So not only video surveillance. Yes, it will work with the NVR for your cameras. So the video surveillance will work. But if you want to connect more systems, again, like access control, video intercom, it's not a problem. And even more than that, it can simply give powers to some other device. So if you're using uh, smart home devices that are PoE compatible, well, you can power them up with a PoE switch. It's a great alternative if you don't have a lot of power outlets in your installation and also because you have a 100 meter range using a PoE switch. So your cables can be really long. And again, it gives a great flexibility to your solution. So I hope this answered the question for the Ajax NVR and why we think it's a more professional and maybe a more complete solution to use an NVR without a PoE switch in it. So using a PoE switch like this one external versus using the traditional NVR. All right, guys, like and subscribe. See you on the next one.